All right, Matt in New York. He says he's got a drinking issue. Matt, you're on the air. Nice. Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, hey what's up, man? What's your I, problem? I heard you knock in AA, and, uh, you know, I'm an alcoholic. What should I do instead of going to AA if that ain't the thing to do? Matt. My biggest thing is you should never stop drinking, first of all. Uh, Especially when a group of people <laughs> tells you what to do. If, if those people in AA told you to jump off a bridge, would you do it? Absolutely not. <laughs> and not to mention, 100% of the people in AA are alcoholics anyway, so it doesn't mean... That's like a bank oh, yeah. robber saying, don't rob banks. Yeah, you're going to listen to other alcoholics? These people have problems, Matt. They're That's not like good people. That's like a country going that has weapons of mass destruction going, you have weapons of mass destruction. Yeah, yeah oh boy. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Is this the Will Durst show? Uh, the, uh, hold on. Do you think uh, I give a shit that we bombed that place? I can't even find it on a map. <laughs> hold on. we got to concentrate on Matt right All now. All right, sorry, Matt. Matt, let's, let's, Matt, let's Matt, this yeah. is my beef with AA. This is my problem that I've had with AA. I, okay. I have gone to AA meetings. Uh, I do drink socially, uh, maybe one or two nights a week. I'm not a heavy drinker, but yeah, I do you, like you to are, drink. Joe. Uh, I, but I did go to AA for a period because I just wanted to see what it was about. And my biggest problem with AA was that they substitute one crutch for another. They take away the drinking, but then these people become addicted to the meetings. And instead of coming to grips with what's going on inside of them and their real problems and their real issues, wow. they're fighting it with just going to these meetings in this in this compulsive fashion. And I don't think that's any healthier. Either that or they start praying like crazy and they start saying that God is their drug. Uh, so what did you You said, fuck this, I'm going back I to drinking. I said, fuck this. I go, my problem isn't drinking. I have problems with or without the booze. There's other shit going on inside of me plus and you dude, might as well be drunk i was never i was never one of these guys you sit in these meetings and these guys are like i woke up bloody in a warehouse i had been <laughs> fucked by eight men you know and i'm like uh you know what dude I, that never really happened to me so uh you know what and there's guys in the navy in the back of the room going these are good stories we'll just add bullets to them and we'll get some pussy later on that's tonight. The other, matt do you didn't have you ever thought this about Oh, he's gone. I thought. Oh, he's I, I gone. Thought, yeah, I thought okay. you were wrong. But you, oh, you 100% never. agree with you. My dad has been in AA for probably eight, nine years already, and that's exactly what happens when people start going to AA. They just they give up the drinking. Well, in my in my father's case, it was it was uh, weed. He liked to smoke. So you they give have up. meetings for that. Yeah. Well, he he went to AA. They do have uh, marijuana as anonymous, but he went to AA. It's, it's the same thing. Anyway. But uh, yeah, he and now he's instead of being addicted to smoking. He's addicted to going to these meetings. Yeah, it's cr it's crazy. Like, he, uh, he he wanted to meet up with me uh, on Friday because he lives on uh, Staten Island, right? So he, he goes, uh, "Hey, you gonna be around at like three o'clock?" I'm like, "Well, I don't know. I, I might be. Why don't you give me a call?" He's like, "Yeah, I, I can't stay long. I, I gotta make coffee at this meeting." So yeah, who gives dude, a so shit? So when when you were a kid, instead of taking you to baseball games, he'd take you to like weed meetings. No, well, this was this was before. I mean, he started going to AA meetings uh, after I was kind of grown. But I do remember like going to Little League, and he'd disappear for forty minutes, and I never understood where he was going. It's like whether you won or lost, he was cool with. Yeah, it. exactly. Because he was going, he was going, you know, he was going down to like you know field B to smoke a nice big joint. So. Dude, that's like the that's the my my buddy used to do such a funny joke about the meetings and the stories they would tell and how horrifying they were. And the punchline, he would just go, uh, "I think I'm in the wrong meeting," and it's like so true because it's like it's almost almost like it's almost like a pissing contest of sorts where they 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 go head to head with these stories and it's like oh yeah you think that's <laughs> fucked up well, one time i fucked a seagull you know what i mean you're like uh, yeah, all right, well, you know dude. people are you know? sitting there in the audience going fuck i can't follow that maybe maybe you <laughs> exactly. have a horrific one i didn't want to talk about having a finger put in my ass when i was in the second grade but i got to go with that now or no one's going to listen it's to me it's so right though i got dragged i got dragged to like one of my dad's like fucking like like 5 year anniversary whatever the fuck it was and that's exactly Exactly what it was. It was nothing but 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 speaker after speaker just telling these horrific stories yeah. about how yeah. they got real drunk and stole a car and crashed it. And you know, you walk out of there not saying, Jesus, you know, I don't want to drink. It makes you want to drink. It's like Jesus, these people yeah, are so depressing. Got, I want to yeah, have a beer. Dude. Oh, they, you and got you got great stories. I, you know, when I, I went to um, when I had to because I got arrested for drinking and driving, and uh, part of the uh, the sentence was. You know, besides from going to drunk school, you had to go to uh, like like three AA meetings and a MAD meeting. So I had to right. go to a MAD meeting, and I'm sitting there thinking, oh, fuck, I'm going to go to this thing, and it's going to be me and 20 mothers who lost kids because of shitheads like me, and they're going to be screaming at me. And I showed up. It was the exact opposite. It was one poor lady trying to tell the story of how her kid lost her life because of idiots like us. It was like 100 of us. And it was a bunch and of... Everybody yelling at her. Yeah, bitching about oh, their case. Jesus, This guy's man. like, I blew, I blew a point away. 
<laughs> a full point oh eight. And the lady's just going like, well, sir, I mean, I think you'd have to talk to the judge about that. So anyways, Ch- Timmy was coming home from band practice. <laughs> well, I, I drive for a living. <laughs> they ought to have a clause where you can drive during the day. And somebody goes, yeah, it's a grandfather clause. I call it the working man's clause. <laughs> and she's going, okay, guys, okay. <laughs> and then she's just like, so he got a flat and he went out to change the tire on the highway. And she's starting to, uh, dude. <laughs> That fucking meeting, that changed changed my life. Jesus Well, I was just like, I was sitting there, I was 21. I was in like my, my fucking fourth year of freshman year college, on my third college, and I just saw the demographic of fucking losers that I was in. That ch- I, didn't, I, I didn't have to go, but the AA meetings were like, they, they were hilarious. It was, like, uh, it was like people were pitching scenes for the next uh, Animal House movie. Yeah. <laughs> people were like, oh, yeah, the fucking fishbowl of cocaine. <laughs> people were like laughing. <laughs> I just got arrested. I was in jail. I got fucked in the ass. Yeah. Somehow I make bail, and next morning I'm right back at the liquor store. It sounds like it sounds like bachelor party. Oh yeah. <laughs> You're waiting for Tom yeah, Hanks to come with run a donkey. His <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. It's and and then the other thing is too, when you try to leave, when you and when you honestly say, because I said at the meetings toward the end, I said, guys, I don't think this is for me. I think I might have jumped the gun. I don't think I really want to be here. I don't think I need to be here. It's cultish, man. You no, know, that's just denial, and you have a problem, and you're and, a control. Freak, you man. try to yeah you're you're, you're running group. away and you need to stay and you need to stick it out and you need to this works if you work at it and help it you know and it's do you know like, that twenty Jesus, do you man. know that like like literally like forty eight percent of the people in AA are in Scientology it's fucking true man I, I looked it up on uh, on uh, YouTube no no some AA, kids video AA, AA back AA backslash Scientology dot com <laughs> but if it see, works. this is different man I, I do my fucking research. Oh shit! Do show. we got a break? Ah, we can go for a little while. No, oh, can we? Do we have any more? Usually, people just hold up a little sign that we need to break rather than interrupting the flow of the show. But not Joe. <laughs> Joe is so into the fucking behind the scenes, dude. I'm grassroots, man. He just says it. I'm grassroots. I want the people to know the process, man. I'll tell you what I like. I like how Danny's dad is smoking weed. While he's playing Little League, League and people are wondering why the baseball players of his generation are doing fucking steroids. <laughs> it's the, 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 your, your dad was the uh, Woodstock generation? Is that what he was? No, he, he, I think he just missed out on that. He, he's not, I mean, he's, I think he's 40. Was he Korean War? Is your mom Asian? No. He was okay. just doing what he needed to do. But, uh, <laughs> but you know, with the, back he was doing back. what he needed to do. You, you ever sit through a Little League game? It's fucking atrocious. It's gotta be. It's, you know, give the guy Dude, a Dude, how great must it be fucking high? <laughs> <laughs> watching a Little hilarious. League game? It's probably like watching midgets play baseball. Either that, or it's like watching the seventh game of the World Series. If you get some really good shit, how fucking intense it is. But is Honey, it, can we go to Bed Bath & Beyond? There's a fucking guy on third. <laughs> But is, is AA that bad if it works? Like for my dad, it works. Look, I would never, I would never, I would never sit here and try to argue that a guy in AA uh, going to meetings addictively is is worse off or even to a guy sitting in a bar drinking until his skin cracks. I've never heard anybody you know, in AA say I, it was a good thing. You know, I, so my point is, obviously, it does work. It is a lesser of two evils, but it's not a solution. And my, my that's my whole beef with it. It's like, stop acting like this is a solution when it's not. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a misdirection to put your focus elsewhere. And, you know... Joe, you, what are you trying to say? Are you, you for <laughs> AA or are you against... I'm against it. But how could you be you, against you it if it works? Right Wait, say it again. I said, how could you be against it if it works? I'm because a, I, I would take the what same. What I'm against, what, what I'm against is is the idea of it being the be all end all cure. I think there's a higher there's a higher thing that you could do than AA. There's a better thing you could go to where somebody could go. I'm really going to focus on what's going on in me that's making me do this instead of just addictively going to these meetings. But if we don't have that, I'm not going to sit and say that a guy not drinking is worse off in AA. He might be equally an ass, as much of an asshole though, or Dude, more of an asshole. that should be the name of his book. It'd be like that, uh, who's that, that that skinny whore who made, she did the CD and like the the title of the CD was like nine paragraphs long and if I had the reference oh, I could have done dude, the joke by now. that fucking chick. That should be your fucking AA thing. <laughs> You just that, that whole, whole that whole paragraph of diarrhea that just came out of your fucking mouth <laughs> should just be on the cover. Were you I think with that you makes sense. And, and your Lou Grant shirt, just with your hands in the air, like. <laughs> I think that makes sense. What is that girl's name? Uh, Beyond the pond. Uh, she's not a whore, by the way. 